Alright, hello people from the internet, let's play some limited spellbook. Okay, yeah, limited spellbook. This game is awesome, isn't it? What did we get? Um, man, it's been a while since I've played this, I don't know. Or I didn't remember how to see the spells that I got. Uh, we got... Um, Not the greatest spells, definitely not uh, ones that I enjoy a lot. Um, I guess we have we have something interesting. We have um, Death Gaze and Imp Swarm. So if we summon a million Imps and then Death Gaze just like deletes the level, kind of uh, deletes open levels. It, it's kind of difficult to get going because. Summons take a couple of turns to actually be summoned, and um, an open level doesn't usually give you that many turns. Another thing that I could do is Ring of Spiders, Fakert. Fakert is so strong. Um, yeah, you can even upgrade it to summon a Queen. Fake Queen is summoned as well. Summon Glass Fadies instead of normal ones. Um, I feel like Faker is probably good enough to win the game if I upgrade it enough. Um, lots of summons, I don't know if you've already noticed. This, this, this is kind of a summon, but not really. I don't even have any dragon spells, do I? Yeah, this is kind of worthless. Uh, I hope that the Rift Wizard 2 does something about um, limited spellbook giving you spells that are literally useless. Um, like, some spells should be bundled. Like, if you get spell A, you will also get spell B, because a spell B is worthless without spell A. Like, for example, another example that I have here, Cantrip Cascade with only one level one spell. I know that it's limited spellbook, but still, you get Cantrip Cascade, it would be nice to get another level one spell at the very least. Um, it, this is okay, because it pretty much turns your level one spell into an area of effect spell, which can be good if this is upgraded enough. But it's a bit more exciting if you have more than one level one spell. Um, uh, if I uh, do not win, I'm gonna do a normal run and I'm gonna do Cantrip Cascade because now I kind of feel like doing that. Uh, anyway, Icicle. Ah oh, man, this is such a good game. I uh, love this game, I really do. This game is one of the greatest uh, achievements in, in game development ever. Everything about it is so satisfying. Um, yeah, the music is a bit too loud. Let's lower the volume a bit in, on my end. Uh, that actually works uh, a lot better than lowering the music volume. Uh, enchantment circle, and what did we say we have again? Enchantment. Lots of enchantments, but... Um, well, Imp Swarm. Oh boy, I, I feel like I should go to that enchantment circle and just get Imp Swarm. With the level layout the way that it is, I can just land here. Reposition, get the full value for this, and then just let that clear the level. And I think that makes a lot of sense. Uh, I'm gonna do exactly that. And I have won the level. Okay, now it's only a matter of waiting, because these dragons are stronger than the level. Yeah, I feel like 2 or 3 would be enough to beat the level. Um, some of them died. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, three, did 3 dragons actually die? Or what happened there? Or did they disappear? I think that they disappeared, because I really don't see them taking damage. Um, okay, so Imp Swarm it is. Imp Swarm. For five, and what can we get when it comes to upgrades? 
Number of summons and median duration. I'll get the number of summons. I think you can also get uh, some other stuff for it, like... Uh, no, you cannot get charges, and charges would have been nice. Um, Dead Snake. I'm sure that I've seen these before, right? Surely I have. Um, mm, damage enemies go berserk. But I... nah. It's looking like uh, this is what I go. Doesn't look so terrible. Like the gates are all close together. If there had been a gate over here or something, uh, or pretty much anywhere that's not like in this section of the low, it would have been a lot more painful. As it is right now, I think I can start here and just like spam imps. Maybe one or two casts uh, should be enough to clear the level. One or two casts. Um, it would have been significantly more difficult if there had been a gate away, as I already said. Um, elemental Harvest. What do we have for Elemental Harvest? Oh, I remember. Yeah, Muscle Memory is coming back. I really haven't played this game in, in a while. Um, I try to limit myself when it comes to playing this game because I uh, enjoy it a good amount and I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to burn out on it ever. That would be pretty tragic. Um, but I don't think that will happen. Like, really, this game, if I die in this game, it's not. I don't feel the way that I feel when I lose in Crawl. Like, that just is straight up feels bad. Like, come on. Um, levels of ridiculousness. In this game, it's a bit. Well, not a bit, a lot more fair, I would like to say. I think that I could go here for the HP. For the HP, it does sound like um, like it makes sense. Locking myself in there was not the brightest of ideas. So when I set up like my Discord and stuff, I, I set up a bot that lets people know when I'm playing, or when I start stream. And it pretty much always says that I'm playing Crawl. Uh, I, I gotta change that, because that... Uh, yeah, it's not like I'm gonna quit Crawl forever, but I don't really see myself playing Crawl in, in a couple of weeks or months. Yeah. The tournament was a pretty big realization that I think I uh, should give it a, a good break um, for for many many um, units of time, I suppose. Um, I really want to go here for the um, for the enchantment circle, so I can upgrade the imp swarm, and give it mega swarm. I can do so immediately, uh, and then after the level, I could also give it. Minion duration, 
minion range. Yeah, I could literally give it those two or minion damage, but I think minion duration and minion range makes a lot more sense. So yeah, lots of big upgrades. This isn't Rift Wizard 2. Yeah, we're still waiting on that. Rift Wizard 2 waiting room, after all. Um, but it's happening very soon. And uh, I'm, I'm gonna be there day one. Yeah. Unless something uh, terrible happens, I will be there day one to play Rift Wizard 2. And it's gonna be awesome. Um, I should probably take the time to upgrade this uh, with number of summons. No, I have already gotten that minion duration. Okay. Now, this deals 3 damage to this thing which has 25 HP. It's completely nonsensical to even try to kill it. I'm gonna go for, for this. Something that I've always found really cool about Rift Wizard is how you can get a really strong spell from very early in the game. Um, there we go. Yeah, uh, Rift Wizard makes it so that the game is interesting from the very beginning. Um, which I personally think Crawl doesn't really achieve well at all. But that may also be the result of me being uh, kinda sick of Crawl after having played so much of it throughout the years. There's definitely a very real possibility of that. Minion range, okay, all in on Imp Swarm. It's very highly upgraded, it's almost fully upgraded. Uh, after that I would like to get uh, Arch Enchanter, because this gives it 3 duration to the Imp Swarm. Imp Swarm is a charm, or an enchantment I guess, that you apply upon yourself that summon Imps. So if you, ins if you extend its duration, it will summon more Imps, which is really good. It also gives it more charge. Uh, which means more casts before I have to use a potion, you know, all of those good things. Um, that's an interesting level. I don't know quite well how to proceed. Uh, because I could start here or here, or maybe even here, but I feel like I would take a ton of damage. Uh, and like the gates are in pretty annoying spots. I feel like uh, maybe we check other alternatives. This looks okay. Yeah, this is pretty much doable. Um, yeah, this is fine. I could probably do that. And let's see the the last one. Okay, I guess we know where we're going. Did you know that in Crawl there used to be a spell that did something like this? I think it was called Demonic Horde, and it summoned a ton of fives. Uh, fives are the weakest demon in Crawl. It was like a level 5 spell, and it summoned a ton of fives. Like actually, like 7 or 8, no, probably more than that. When you've had with Reef Wizard, there's very few characters that prefer non-open areas. Mm, I don't know if that has something to do with the fact that I personally prefer the ones that, that go to open areas, because I feel like you can you can build uh, characters that do well in closed areas. Uh, for example, Spikeball Factory. If you have a a rather uh, choke pointy level, if you if you cast the Spikeball Factory, the the factory well the the gates will definitely spawn spike balls multiple times and if they do that you win the level pretty much um, because usually uh, the spike balls are gonna be more powerful than the gates in the level until much later in the game but even then you can like upgrade the spike balls right it has a, a ton of upgrades 
Um, so yeah, mm. Mm. what other builds could be fine? Like uh, when it comes to summons that do not time out, like for example this giant bear, um, if you upgrade it and support it, you could uh, you could like do well in in a level that like has choke points and stuff because an ally that doesn't time out that fights for you is kind of like close to the crawl combat experience of get to a choke point fight everything regen your resources rinse and repeat except that you don't really regen your resources in this game um so yeah i i do think that it's like drastically different to my playstyle, uh and that's why um you don't see it that often uh from me Anyway, next level. What sorceries do we have anyway? We have Annihilate and we could put that on Annihilate. But it would be very funny on Cantrip Cascade. Unfortunately, I cannot grab Cantrip Cascade's level 5. 75% uh, acceleration cantrip cascade is a lot more tiles. Like it, it, it says plus 75%, but it's actually so much more area covered. You know, like someone's in close areas either. There's moments when you get stuck, unable to kill faster than the spawn. That is indeed a thing that happens. Uh, I wonder how Rift Wizard 2 is gonna do it. Like um, when it comes to level generation. I would say that's probably one of the weakest points of Reef Wizard 1, the way that the levels generate. Um, if, like taking all things into consideration, like pretty much this, this thing that we have been talking about, like how some builds definitely cannot deal with certain levels or, or uh, the spells that would make you able to deal with certain levels uh, are like very uh, low impact pretty much like if there was a spell that maybe the spell couldn't even deal damage but you target a large area and it just like get, gets rid of all the walls in that area maybe that spell like that spell would be so good and so useful like if, for example imagine having that spell in this situation and just like deleting these uh, these walls or these walls and just like having easy access to the gates um, yeah, would be nice to have an option like that. There's nothing really like like that in in Rift Wizard. Like the spells that can delete walls are very low impact in when it comes to actually getting rid of the walls. Uh, it feels like a bit more of an afterthought than the main function of the spell. And there should really be a spell with the main function of getting rid of walls or creating walls or or something like that maybe like a high enough chaos like a high enough level chaos spell that's just like a knob of corruption but it doesn't place loot so that you reshuffle the level if the level is very much not to uh, your liking would be nice um, why can't i uh, oh maybe i have not yeah i was not selecting the screen of, of reef wizard I was pressing escape and it was not letting me back out of there. This is fine. This is probably doable, right? Yeah, this looks very much doable. It looks much easier than that, at least. Uh, nope, and... This is also doable, perhaps even easier than this. No, no way it's easier than this. Yeah, I think that I'm gonna stick with this. Okay, we're gonna start somewhere around here. Like, I wanna start away from the range of damage of these things. Uh, I could also start over here, actually, so that the imps can actually hit all of the gates. I like that idea. Uh, so let's go for it. Oh, I don't have uh, imps. That's what I noticed. That is not gonna be that much of, a, of an issue in Rift Wizard uh, 2, because uh, in Rift Wizard 2 you will re you will, you will regain uh, every, your, all of your resources every time you uh, enter a new level. Yeah, that will be a huge change in the way the game plays. Um, I wonder what will be feasible and will, what will not be feasible uh, with that change. Thank you. 
Yeah. Um, I do notice, like, there's some some occasions where I literally can be the level casting only one spell. Like, in this occasion, I also cast two Icicle, but I could have beaten the level literally just by casting Imp Swarm once. Um, Arch Conjuration for Arch Conjurer. What do we get from that? Um, two charges, three minion damage, seven minion health, one minion range, and one minion duration. I feel like the other one, Arch Enchanter, is more impactful, but I don't have a circle for that, so might as well grab the one that I do have a circle for. Um, there's also an Elixir of Youth. I feel like I could spawn here. No oh, man, but the level has uh, summoners. Oh man, I don't like summoners. It's fine because the imps do not deal physical damage, or at least most of them don't. But um, but yeah, this level could be rough. Um, the layout, the fact that it has summoners, I feel like I'm better off going elsewhere. Where And elsewhere in this occasion would be this, which is not much better. It's literally the same problems as as the other level. The summoners are less bile, but these do explode into into more summons, you know, into enemies, which is more annoying uh, long term. So I guess that we do this. <laughs> oh boy. Um... Do I start here and I just summon stuff and hope for the best? Like, that does get rid of three gates, but the issue here is these two gates uh, right here. Once again, like, level generation walls being kind of rough uh, to deal with. I feel like in this level I'm gonna have to use more than one um, Charger Beam Swarm. I'm probably gonna have to use a, a 3 and a Mana Potion or something like that. Okay, that went pretty much how I expected it to go. Now uh, the true ordeal starts yeah, getting through the, through this corridor. Um, these guys have uh, still a couple of turns left to go. Yeah, they do help me push a, a good amount. I think all the witches are dead. Oh man, I wish that Icicle didn't deal 3 damage to the Bloodgasts. If only it dealt a 4. So that I could kill them in one cast. Okay. I guess we're gonna use him so much at all. Alright, that went better than I expected it to go. Hello Necrunt. You haven't tried Imp Swarm? What makes that spell special? Um, you can upgrade it a lot. Mega Swarm is really good. I don't know if you noticed, but my imps were chunky. Uh, Mega Swarm makes it so that I make big imps instead of uh, normal ones. Yeah, giant imps instead of normal sized ones. The giant imps have more HP, they deal more damage. Um, they're, they're like much stronger. So like with Mega Swarm it's a really good spell. And it clears the level so good, because it summons so many monsters. They may not hit for a lot, but you summon so many of them that it actually does clear the level pretty good. Uh, which is really nice, yeah. Arch Conjurer. What else can we get? Oh, we can get the minion damage. Yeah, fully upgraded Imp Swarm. Why not? Uh, we still need some more things. Like, when it comes to our actual upgrades for the spell, we're done. But we still need to get... Uh, Arch Enchanter. Arch Enchanter will be big. Um, I wonder how Rift Wizard is gonna do to, is gonna do it. I heard that there's no more upgrades for spells, which is fine, I suppose. Um, it, it made it pretty overwhelming to know like how to build. Um, so I understand the removal of that. Gear is gonna be interesting. Um, here is gonna be a reason to, to go into a certain level. Uh, I hope that we get in like another version of the game or like a challenge, um, a mode where you go around and find spells as the game progresses. You don't great spell you, if you don't upgrade spells into how do you scale their power? Uh, I think that it is based around um, 
uh, skills and uh, and gear. Like we still don't know a lot about two. The only things that we know is what Dylan has said. Um, yeah, we'll know more when the game releases in a month. Oh man, I'm so excited for that game. That game's gonna be awesome. I think this looks pretty good. I'm probably gonna be doing that. Yeah, this could be doable as well, but I would rather go to this one. This one looks easier. Uh, also, yeah, two healing potions, I don't care. Two mana potions on your hand is a lot more interesting. I have not used a single healing potion in the whole game. Barely taken any damage. Okay, that was one cast of Imp Swarm. <laughs> And two icicles. Uh, once again, I could have probably not used the two icicles. Um, yeah, that's the power of Imswarm. It's very early in the game and it's already fully upgraded, so it is going to be really strong, but uh, it scales really well. One more month is so, so bad. You're a little bummed early access got delayed. I'm fine. Like, I, I feel like you should not rush greatness. Um... Yeah, like, I, I can't wait. I, I'm a very patient person when it comes to video games. Um, oh, it isn't so bad? Yeah, I agree. I agree with that, yeah. It's so, so bad. Yeah, it's funny how you can you can miss, like, uh, one or two letters and the, the meaning of whatever you were trying to say is completely shifted. Like, 180. It is kind of funny. Uh, I want to go here because of, once again, the enchantment circle. Let's see if it's possible. That has a lot of loot, but I don't think I care. This has gnomes. Gnomes are evil, but I summon so many guys that the gnomes are fine. The layout is... It's not terrible. Like, this is also doable, but between this and its loot and this and its circle, uh, not to mention that the level is not so difficult. Well, maybe the steel spiders would be annoying um, because of the imps. Mm, but there's not that many of them. Ah, uh, splits into two smaller versions of itself. I think I can do it. Steel Spider Gate, three of them. I can probably do it. Nothing has ranged attacks, right? Yeah, nothing has ranged attacks. I can probably do it. Uh, I hope that I do not die <laughs> uh, because of choosing to do this uh, when it is uh, clear that I cannot do it. Because I do think that I can do it. Yeah, there we go. The dames are, are definitely capable of killing the spiders. Or the steel monsters. Oh, I ran out of imps. Let me go over here and summon some more. And there we go. Yeah, that is uh, not the end of the upgrades for Imswarm, but like, uh, we're close to the end. And it's only round 10. It, it has been a pretty good run when it comes to upgrades so far. Arch Enchanter. Okay, so now my Imswarm. We'll have 7 charges, the imps will deal, uh, I think it's more than 12 damage, but I'm not so sure, I'll see when I when I summon imps next time. That's dangerous, uh, very much so. Doable, but dangerous. And what do we have here? I would think I would rather go to the dangerous level. <laughs> What skill do you have? I have Arch Conjurer and Arch Enchanter. Those are the only two skills that I have. The Imps are uh, fully upgraded pretty much. Yeah, it's. I think it's pretty funny how it says two upgrades available, but you click here and they're grayed out because Imps Swarm can be upgraded with only one Swarm upgrade. Uh, so I have zero upgrades available, it's fully upgraded. Imp Swarm is fire enough and Mance is very, very powerful. Yeah. Um, and let's see, when it comes to spells, what, are, what other things do we have? Uh, I did say earlier that I have a uh, death case, and I was thinking of using this. Each allied unit deals 4 dark damage to a random enemy in its line of sight, and uh, 4 damage may not seem like a lot, but I happen to have a ton of allies. Um, maybe that could be the next thing to get. Portal Disruptor, not worth using. I have two, you are right, but on the other hand this level has two healing potions and I have five, 
So even if I take a good chunk of damage, like even if I hate t uh, take 200 damage, which is unlikely, <laughs> uh, I would still come out, come out ahead, I think. Um, yeah. The, the main worry here is getting frozen by the Ice Wizard and instantly dying because of that. But I think it would be fine if I just spawn far away from it. But then there's Troublers, uh, yeah, okay, 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 yeah, it's too much danger to justify it. We are gonna use a Portal Disruptor. I don't have a key, right? No, no key. Let's see, what do we have here? Um, uh, it could be doable. Let's see the other option. Self-targeted spells only. Whenever you cast this spell, a random ally also casts it. So, funny thing, this works with um, with Imswarm, I'm almost sure, because this is an enchantment that, that uh, self-targeted spell, you know? So whenever I cast Imswarm, a random ally will also cast it, which um, I happen to have a lot of allies, so second cast of Imswarm will be even more powerful than the first one. I really want to do this. Oh no, the level is so bad. Oh man, it, but it might, dude, this is gonna be hilarious, like, if I do it. Uh, imagine dropping here, getting that, going for uh, maybe Elixir of Youth pre-entering the level. Um, dropping here, putting that on Imswarm, and then just spamming Imswarm like crazy. That would fill the level with Imps. Um, and that does sound pretty fun. That That's the Slime Shrine. Would dragons or archons be good companions for the imps? Uh, dragons, no, because uh, the unless you get the thingy where I think there's a skill where your allies uh, become immune to the breath of the dragon. Like if you have that one, maybe. Um, but um, archons would be okay. I don't think I have anything dragon related. Like I have this, but I don't have any other dragon summons. Um, Conjuration. I don't think I need the Archon because um, because like I I have the Imps right like the Imps are are like um, it when it comes to damage output. Now my objective is is like uh, not dying. Do I have a mobility spell for the for the end game? Doesn't look like it. No. Oh. The late game is gonna be difficult with no mobility spells. Okay, let's let's do that thing that I said earlier. Uh -huh. And then we go in, and then we put that on Im Swarm, and then this is gonna be really fun. I'm just gonna spam this. Uh huh. And now we heal. It's fine because I have been hoarding those. Uh, one more cast of the Why not? And now, uh, some of these imps are gonna have... Yeah, they have imp call themselves. So this is hilarious. I'm gonna have a... Uh, huge imp convention. Like, look at that! <laughs> this is absurd. Uh, and I do note that I... I Like, this is the result of me using... Uh, um, an elixir of youth and therefore being able to spam imp swarm. But, like, how many imps do I have in the level? I feel like there's more imps than walls in the level. Oh, uh, that was so funny. Yeah, uh, the elixirs of youth are gonna be pretty good um, for the end game. I am going to to hoard them for for the end game. Mm, Nature circle is that's good, right? Like uh, we can get um, natural vigor. Oh, your summon units. Okay, so yeah, natural vigor, minion regeneration. Sounds like a plan if we go to the nature circle. Let's see, what do we have here? Oh, it's fully open. Uh, the downside is that there's a leech, um, which is pretty annoying to deal with, because it will immediately make itself uh, immune to to the imps. Mm, if I start close to it, but can it freeze me? Freezes for three turns, but it takes a while. It takes three turns to do that. I think it's fine. Uh, no, it's only limited spellbook. Uh, where do we see that? There's a way to see it in-game, right? Uh, no idea, but I'm playing only limited spellbook. I have all the skills. 
Yeah, I have all the skills there are to have. Uh, imagine like playing limited spellbook and limited skills, and also having uh, these two skills that are perfect for him. Swarm that would be so lucky. Um, yeah, I think that we start here. Okay. Maybe we start somewhere around here, like farther away from from things that could hurt me. Uh, threaten. Uh, I don't want to start so so close to these guys. I think that I'd rather just like eat the damage from those two. Yeah, start somewhere around here. Taking some damage. Okay, uh, Icicle is gonna be nice for getting rid of the jars. Do you think I'm gonna need a second cast of, um, of Imps? I think not, so I'm not gonna go for the second cast of Imps. Yeah, I could have gone for the second cast, or I, I guess I can still go for the second cast to, to like, get pretty much another cast for free, but uh, I think it will be fine. Nah, I'm gonna go for the second cast, just to make sure. So yeah, that was literally two casts of Imp, and once again two Icicles. Um, this is so funny. Alright, let's 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 upgrade these guys even further. Uh, with a uh, Natural Vigor. And we can also get... Minion Regeneration, or... I think Minion Regeneration is fine. Yeah. You feel like it's the only way to play with Wizard, limited spellbook and limited skills? I would enjoy it a lot more if you could find spells as the run progresses, spells and skills. Like if, if uh, there was incentive to go for for limit or for spells as the as the run continues. Um, like you go to a level and you're like, oh that level sucks but it has a spell that like kind of wins me the game. So you drop on the spell and learn it and, and like you do your thing. Uh, that would be pretty cool. Now, uh, I have never seen this guy, and I want it for the bestiary. Chances are good that I'll never complete the bestiary in this game anyway, but I definitely am not making any progress towards that if I don't take the opportunity to kill this guy, right? So I kinda do want to go here to kill that guy. Um, the Translocator doing its thing uh, would be pretty bad, so we're gonna try to start over here or so. And before going in I should use a mana potion. Fortunately I have a good amount of them. I'm gonna start over here. I got swapped, it's fine. Lost a little bit of max HP. Um, I cast another, another Imp Swarm. I think that I can wait a bit. One more. Okay, now we cast the second Imp Swarm. Yeah, the issue here is um, that I do not have... Oh, I, I didn't realize, like, this is not open. Oh, man. Uh, the Bone King is also summoning uh, lots of uh, guys, right? Okay, that might not be good. In fact, I would say that's pretty bad. We're gonna go for a Chaos spell, let's see. If that is uh, enough to to thin out the, the Hordes. Okay. Yeah, very expensive level, but um, that's how it was always gonna be with the layout being the way that it was. Uh, at least I got another monster for the bestiary. Um, that's pretty deadly. 
Yeah, yeah, Void Watchers are too strong. I would like to see a rework of that kind of monster in Rufus or two. Any cheap ways to destroy walls? I don't have anything. Funny, funny thing that you mentioned that because I was talking about that earlier. How? Uh, oh well, I guess I have Void Beam, um, but Void Beam sucks, and like that goes into what I was talking about earlier. Like how the spells that have um, utility to break walls feel very underwhelming and very low impact in their uh, job of breaking walls, and I would like to see a spell. That's like a nar large area of effect where you just destroy all the walls inside the area of effect inst and it doesn't deal damage or anything. Instead of having a spell that deals damage and it, it can also go through walls and it destroys the walls. Um, which is um, Void Beam. Mm, I'm gonna heal for mm -hmm. safety. Yeah, very dangerous. Sort of city circle. Uh, maybe this is the time uh, to grab Void Beam. Like, maybe I go here and grab Void Beam so I can use it in, in some levels later. Definitely a possibility. Do I start here? Yeah, because there's... Uh, it's tempting to start over here, but... That things would happen. Maybe I could start over here. Uh, no matter how I look at it, this level is gonna be annoying because of the... Because of these walls. Um, so it really doesn't matter what I start. I'm gonna take a ton of damage and burn through a lot of charges of Beam Swarm. Desert Demon in Labyrinth, but a quick blade is there for your stabber. A, a gauntlet, I suppose. You can probably kill it. You can probably kill it. Uh, Lizard Demons are not that scary. And if if um if it's like um, a high level demon, like a Blizzard Demon is, it probably doesn't have a lot of support in in the gauntlet, does it? Oh man, this looks <laughs> pretty awful. Uh, I have another Portal Disruptor, I could... Yeah, I could just use a Portal Disruptor, let's go for it. Uh, doable, but I don't like it so much. This is especially annoying. Though I could start somewhere around here to, to, to get that uh, going. And uh, this looks fine. Yeah, this looks very much doable. Okay, yeah, I think that we probably go here. We go. A single cast of uh, Im Swarm is so strong at clearing open levels. Uh, that much to enemies. Look at that. Look at that. It's it's crazy. You know something that I really enjoy about Rift Wizard is how um, there's no like movement speed or attack speed. Like a turn passes and everything moves uh, and everything attacks. You died to the Blizzard Demon? Uh, like, did you get killed by a Blizzard Demon? Like, uh, of course you used, like, resistance, right? Because they're kind of <laughs> they're kind of strong if you don't have the resistance. Um, this looks very doable, I'm probably going there. 
Yeah, I'm going here. I have six uh, experience. What would I want to get for my with my six experience? Uh, whenever there's a uh, something that gives shields to your allies, right? It's like an arcane thingy. Arcane shields? No, not that. Shielded minions, arcane minions. You can summon gain three shield or minions. You summon gain one shield. Is this okay? It makes it more. It makes my guys more tanky. But I don't know if I care. Oh, you know what I should get? I should get uh, Prince of Ruin. Yeah, good old Prince of Ruin. Nothing beats that. Um, very good because the imps that I summon are uh, Fire Iron or Spark imps. So you, they will all trigger Prince of Ruin. Um, You have no resistance, it was early on, zero resistance potions. Ah, oh, pretty rough. I still think it was probably worth it, because imagine how enjoyable the playthrough would have been with that quick blade. Very well worth the risk. Um. Oh, they're gone and they're not done. Yeah, that's fine. If I had started somewhere in the middle, I could have done it in one cast, I think. But I would have also taken a ton of damage. I think that maybe... Well, I have 10 mana potions. <laughs> Perhaps the, the the expenditure of mana potions is not that big of a, of a deal. Uh, damage to enemies, uh, almost 1200 Prince of Ruin, so automatically it's been paying off. Um, we can also get redeals. Yeah, we can probably get like uh, Fiery Judgment and Chastisement for, for my Fire Imps to stun, something like that, maybe. I don't really know what else we get. Um, like, if it already feels uh, so strong. Um, I kind of want to go here, but the cockatrices are scary. Okay, I'll go to the level with the cockatrices. Hopefully I won't die. Um, this one, two, three, four idols of life. So everything heals 12 HP each turn. Unless I get rid of the idols of life first. Which I very clearly should do. Um, so I guess we start somewhere around here. We go from there. Maybe not somewhere around here. Maybe we start here. So that I don't get instantly stunned by a cockatrice. I could also start literally in the middle and just drop a stopwatch. And that uh, clears the level. I'll do it. I'll do that. Uh, I'll do that. Just to... Because there's so many cockatrices. Um, I get cockatrice and I die. Oh, I, oh man. I should have used a mana potion before. Yeah, I went for the second cast of uh, Imp Swarm, so that I could just clear the level uh, a lot faster. Playing it safe. Also, I have so many mana potions that it's fine. Imp Swarm is very, very mana efficient. Like, literally one or two casts of a spell that I have seven casts on uh, is uh, enough to clear a level. Mm, jeweled Hand. These are kind of rare, but I think that I already have them in my... My best theory. Normally you see the other ones that are literally the same. No, I think the jeweled hands have a bit more shield. Definitely not. Uh, definitely not. Yeah, I, dream hacks, of, of course not. Um, have I ever seen Dwergar Lizard Lores? However, I don't know if I've seen these. Someone two ice lizards, and these, I think that I have seen these. Someone seven temporary bats. Mm. I would love to go there to make sure, but um, it's too dangerous.
Okay, perhaps the second uh, round of imps was not that necessary, but I wanted to make sure. Better safe than uh, than death. Mm. I wonder if I could if I could put this on imp swarm. Probably not. Oh, I can. I don't want to put it on Imp Swarm. Uh, you know what I should put on, or like, I should probably get uh, Death Gaze and put this on Death Gaze. Yeah. Whenever this spell kills a unit, all allied minions in line of sight gain 3 damage for 5 turns. So if uh, Death Gaze somehow manages to kill something, uh, my Imps become a lot more powerful. Uh, look at the. This generation is strange. I don't think that I've ever seen generation like this before where. There's a there's a rift in an area that's completely inaccessible. Mm, maybe maybe we do that. And the thing about uh, these levels is that Lamasu are rough to deal with. They heal everything. They're so tanky. They they go straight for you. They don't deal damage uh, or like they don't deal that much damage. Whenever an ally deals damage, it heals that much HP. Nope. It says half? Half that much HP, okay. Has it always been like that or did it get nerfed? Um, anyway, I'm not going there. Yeah, this is probably slightly uh, more manageable. Gotta spawn close to the Lich to, to kill it before it goes invincible. Um, yeah, I think I'll take some damage here, but it will be fine. Now, uh, before I go in, should I upgrade this death case thing with the damage? Each ally unit heals for 100% of the damage it causes. I don't think that's uh, important. Mm. I feel like upgrading death case is, is very much not worth it. It probably... it probably is, but I'm not going to. Okay, time to heal. The inch... the... the... the inch... the, the lich already went uh, invincible, unfortunately, in a, in a very awkward position. I'm taking so much damage. Uh, what is actually dealing that much damage? No idea. Okay, you're at 1 HP. Uh, this would be the perfect time to have mobility. Like, if I had more than one teleporter, I would... I would teleport here, or blink past the wall, or swap myself uh, around, but I don't have any mobility spells, so this is going to be rough. I'm probably going to have to heal again. Okay, there we go. I think that now we win the level. Brutal. Ah, oh, man. Like, the only reason why I took so much damage... Damage to Wizard 96 or Paramancer. <laughs> yeah, that was because the Imps were distracted with the Lich, uh, and, and the Lich went invincible. I knew that was gonna happen, and that that's uh, why I don't like levels with Draco Liches in general, because they're so difficult to kill. Um, and they're common enemies at the point in the game that they spawn, of course. Like, they spawn very late, but you can find a level that's full of Draco Liches. Um, Should I get shock value? Whenever an enemy dies to lightning damage, another random enemy in line of sight of that enemy goes berserk for 5 turns. Yeah, I'll get that. I feel like it's gonna be useful for the imps. Uh, I have imps that, that deal uh, lightning damage. Yeah, 
nothing but that seat, so no, nothing else to upgrade here. So I guess we go to the next one. Rough uh, level generation dream hacks too. Yeah, gotta be careful with anything that swaps you around. Those kind of enemies can kill you easily, mm, or can put you in positions where you're gonna die easily. So many Dwergar. If I had a stone shield, uh, that level would be easy. I guess we use a disruptor. Because both of those levels are rough. Okay, there we go. Gold hand. Um, yeah, this is this is very much doable. Uh, this uh, shield ally grants an ally three shields. Three shields. For some reason I thought it was gonna uh, grant everyone shields. If, if you only shield one uh, monster then it's completely fine. Yeah, this looks very much doable. It doesn't even look difficult at all. Um, probably gonna have to go for two casts of Imswarm, but it's fine. You hear you should play Tevi. Yes, yes, everyone should play Tevi. Tevi is such an amazing game. Uh, that was a demon sorcerer. I guess it's fine. Okay, this is kind of funny. It looks like it's doing a lot. It's actually not doing that much. Yeah, I went through all my Charges of Death gaze, and it didn't kill everything. It did deal some good damage, and it helps a lot that uh, they were protected by the Twilight here, but still. Um, mana. We go for another Eve Swarm. There we go. Can I sell you on Tevi? You haven't played something like it before, something you've played as Hollow Knight? Well, yeah, it's a, it's a Metroidvania. Um, so, if you liked Hollow Knight, I feel like you would like Tevi as well. Except for the fact that Tevi's fights are harder than Hollow Knight's fights. Um, Hollow Knight does have some difficult boss fights, but I don't think there's anything on the same level as uh, some of the hardest fights that Tevi has to offer. Like the angel guy that we fought in the middle of the game, and uh, and of course the final bosses. Um, yeah, the ones that you fight like in the last uh, part of the game are pretty difficult as well. Uh, like definitely more difficult than the Radiance. Mm. Also, they're lengthy fights, so if you don't like uh, if you don't like the the test of endurance that is going through long fights like that in, in a game like that, then you're probably not gonna like it, but but I do like it a lot, and that's why I continue to recommend it. All of these levels are terrible. Um, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. This is doable. Dangerous, but doable. Um, I would probably take a ton of damage. I don't like the walls. This is better than the one that I saw earlier, I think. Wish listed, love a good challenge. Um, if you don't mind uh, spoilers, you could watch literally the final video of my TV playthrough on YouTube. Um, it, like, it's like video 8 of the TV playthrough, and you're gonna immediately see uh, some of, like, one of the final fights in the game, and, like, probably the most difficult fight in the entirety of the game. And if you like what you see, you're probably gonna enjoy TV a lot. But yeah, it is a Metroidvania, so you run around and you explore and stuff. Uh, some people do not like that um, a lot of the movement options are tied around just like progressing the story instead of uh, running around and finding them for yourself. Um, 
and uh, very soon after release uh, of, of Debbie, uh, the devs implemented a mode where where they kind of um, address that, uh, but it turns off the story as a whole. Or well, it doesn't really turn off the story as a whole, but it lets you go in whatever way you wish to proceed. The map is pretty expensive, so it's very easy to, to get stuck. Um, I tried it a bit and I felt like um, like it wasn't exactly what I wanted. I got something in between where uh, in Ravi Rivi the game pointed you at unexplored areas of the map and told you here's a boss and it's up to you if you want to go there or if you want to go anywhere. But if you go there you're going to get a, a boss fight. And if Debbie did that as well I would enjoy it a lot. Because what happened to me when I played Ravi Rivi was that I... Uh, saw the markers, and in the process of getting to the marker, I ran into other bosses that I that were unmarked, uh, which was pretty cool and stuff. And I got to explore and find some upgrades and and, and things. It was nice. Um, yep. Anyway, no matter how we look at it, these levels are not gonna be nice. Uh, I think that I'm gonna go for the elixir of youth technique in this level. Nah, I can probably wait. I can probably wait. I like that these bone wizards are not leeches. They really should be leeches, but they're not leeches. Ouch. I'm getting pretty messed up here. Okay, time to heal. Maybe I shouldn't have X-Turbo on. I feel like this could be funny with Turbo. Oh man, now that I... Considering that I've been playing for so long with X-Turbo, this feels really slow. Let's go back to X-Turbo. <laughs> What's some other upgrade path for this build am I planning? Um, I think that I'm pretty much full power already. Like, I have Arch Conjurer, Arch Enchanter, Minion Regeneration, Natural Vigor, Prince of Ruin, Shock Value. Um, I could get more to uh, expand on electricity, like chastisement and, and stuff, uh, holy judgment or whatever it's called, um, holy thunder and fiery judgment. Yeah, I could get those as well for the stuns uh, if I do end up going chastisement. I'm probably gonna do that because I don't have much else to to spend my experience on. Like when it comes to these spells, maybe siphon shields. Siphon Shields is kind of not terrible. Um, I could get another summon spell in the form of Fake Court, but the thing is that I don't feel like I need another summon spell. Like, the Imps are so powerful already. They're insane. Uh, I could get Void Beam for destroying walls. I could um, maybe get Holy Fire, maybe Annihilate for shield removal. Um, yeah. But I feel like all of those are low impact. Like, nothing that I really want to commit to. Um, that's how low impact I feel they are. Okay, we're out of him, so I'm gonna have to cast it again. I don't think I need another cast of imps to get rid of these. Yeah, yeah, of course I didn't. Oh, the the reason why the level was so difficult is because butterfly demons, butterfly demons have a good chunk of shields. Yeah, no wonder uh, getting through the initial horde was so difficult. Fire circle, so I can get uh, the things for fire. Fighty judgment. Uh, half of all fire damage I or uh, my minions deal is with Delta's holy damage. And then I can get chastisement, um, which I'm not gonna get right now, but it's only cost 4. Uh, only costs 4 whenever an enemy takes holy damage, it has a 50% chance of these to be stunned for one turn. So now the red imps uh, stun people, 
which is pretty good. But dragons, uh, storm knights. This game is great. Uh, oh, look at that! This would be siphon shields would be really good here. Yeah, I would get so much uh, in the way of shields. If I if I stood here and the first thing that I did was siphon shields, I don't think they would get rid of the, of all of the shields that I would gain. Um, but I cannot get that now, can I? Is it? It costs four. Or does it cost three siphon shields? Yeah, it costs four. Um, if I want to do that, I would have to drop here, and I would get frozen and die. Or here, and I would get frozen and die. Uh, no matter how I look at it, this looks like a pretty dangerous level to go to. So, yeah. This looks a bit better. The Dreamer is dangerous, uh, because it teleports everything around. Um, each other unit up to four squares away each turn. Um, also dream hacks, so yeah, better not go there. This is probably the safest level to go to. And this is still pretty dangerous, because there's a Storm Knights, and there's... Um, Ah, the Twilight Knights are fine. Yeah, the Storm Knights are the greatest danger here because they freeze you. Nothing that blinks you away or anything. Yeah, okay, we can do this. So with the Blood Rage upgrades that I've been getting uh, for these sims, they now deal 23 damage. Not, not terrible. Aha! Summon Swap. Do I have anything like that? Uh, translocation. It should be a translocation. Yeah, no spells fit these filters. That's the saddest thing you could see in a limited spellbook run. Because of the um, Imswarm, I knew that, that this was gonna get pretty far, but I, I cannot guarantee that I'm gonna beat it, uh, because no mobility for Mordred. Um, I hear that also will get uh, changed uh, a bit in, in Reef Wizard 2. It will uh, it be made so that you don't really need mobility specifically for Mordred. Oh man, this looks so difficult. Like, all of these uh, levels look... Um, Kind of nightmarish with the freezing and stuff. The stone shield would do wonders once again, but I don't have that. Um, I don't have um, a reroll. Yeah, we're we're out of rerolls. And this level also looks pretty rough. Dream hacks again. Yeah, once again, anything that says swap places, you want to stay away from. Minion instability, like in Path of Exiles, dying someone's go boom. Um, there's a shrine that your minions, or yeah, your your, is it everything or I don't know. Um, I think it it is like a thing where like if you kill something with the spell that the shrine um, was equipped to, it explodes and it deals uh, damage in an area, which which kind of sucks because it also deals damage to you. Um, I don't like it because of that, because I've died to using that thing before. Oh well, let's take some damage. Um, it's pretty much an unavoidable. Yeah. The Dreamer is also pushing me forward. Where even is the Dreamer? I don't see it anymore. Is it dead? Um, yeah, let's get this now for the stuns. I don't see the Dreamer anymore. I am going to hope that it is dead. Okay, I keep getting stunned.
Unfortunately, Death Gaze doesn't do anything to these guys. They're all resistant to Dark. Uh, part of the reason why I didn't commit too much to that case, because I knew that eventually it would be completely useless. I'm gonna go for another mana potion. Or maybe I just use that case hoping that it hits the, the gate. Ah, uh, which it did! Okay, let's go. Yeah, with so many uh, summons it was gonna hit the gate. I don't need to cast another Rim Swarm. There we go, yeah, I didn't need it. I see Vengeance is good for that. I see Vengeance is good for that. I see Vengeance. Whenever one of your minions dies up to three random enemies in a 5 tile radius, take ice damage. Equal to half the death minion's max HP. This would be okay uh, on, this, on this character. Maybe I should grab that. Like, how many guys do I have? Um, yeah, uh, I have a Draft of Memories, but because I don't have mobility, I haven't even bothered using it. But I probably should have used it when I got it. Fake Queens. Mm, levels with Fake Queens are very dangerous. Yikes. Ah, oh, man. Once again, another level that is extremely difficult because of walls. And we're out, once again, we are out of rerolls. Um, I saw, uh, yeah, Slime Drake, dangerous thing. Dangerous thing to be around. Better go elsewhere. Possible of pain. That's fine. I guess that we have to do this level. Like, there's an earthquake orb. Deals 25 physical damage and destroys walls on 50% of all level tiles. So I can uh, grab this, immediately use it, and then just do my thing. Which is uh, what I'm going to do, yeah. Grab it, use it, I think. I guess it's fine. I'm not gonna die to the ghosts. <laughs> yeah, there's no way. Uh, now I just have to wait them out of it. They're not infinite, right? Oh, they are infinite! Okay, that's annoying. Um, at least I can actually kill them myself without having to summon anything. And it's not like I've been using these icicle charges, so... It's not like I'm losing anything. Okay, let's see if I can grab uh, two... Experience with the draft of memories. I think I grabbed only one, <laughs> uh, but it, it doesn't matter once again. Um, so we get Holy Thunder, um, so that also the lightning um, imps uh, stun people. And I think that uh, my last upgrade is gonna be IC Vengeance. Hopefully that actually does uh, something for me. Definitely not with the Reapers. Um, Doable but rough. I'm uh, starting to get worried about my healing potion situation. This level does have one healing potion. Uh, yeah, okay, so if, if my options are these three then I have to go to this one. Even if it's gonna be kinda difficult. Yeah, yeah like, massive gold drake. So, um, imps are demons and because of that these guys shoot and they delete my dudes. Which is really bad. Um, they're also immune to holy, so they're not gonna get stunned by chastisement. Uh, this is gonna be painful to do. But there's really no other alternative. Like, the other levels would be even worse. Um, oh, also, I have a, a Nether Dagger, which destroys 
all the resistances that everyone has, so that will help deal with the level. Uh, I would like to drop on a uh, tile that can see a lot of enemies. Um, perhaps something like this could get the job done. Um, I wonder if I should play it safe and heal before going in. How? I think I do heal before going in. Yeah, I took so much damage. Uh, I'm gonna have to heal again. Okay, I think I heal now. Uh, I went for the quick uh, second cast on Imswarm because I needed presence as soon as possible um, and it did work very well. Damage to enemies and a thousand death gaze. It would be okay except for the fact that you literally used all the charges. <laughs> yeah, that's not so great. Um, damage to wizard 170 watcher. Yeah, we knew about that when going into this level. Nothing to be done about that. Um, okay, final level. Uh, time for Mordred. I see Vengeance. Okay. Okay, time to get destroyed by Mordred. To begin with, the level generation is not amazing. Um, Oh, you know, yeah, this is this is when I use uh, the Elixir of Youth. Okay, we use the Elixir of Youth, we go in, and we just spam him swan like, like crazy. I'm getting blinked around by, uh, by Mordred. Okay, a lot of my imps have uh, the thing where they summon imps now. Yeah, so I'm gonna have a ton of imps. For a while until Mordor gets rid of them, of course. I am tempted to teleport over here. I ha only have one teleporter, the one that I started the game with. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, let's cast this again. I don't even know where Mordred is. I love what uh, was done to poison in this game. Yeah, oh, this is definitely the time to get... Uh, the spell that destroys walls. Oh man, I hate this so much. <laughs> hey, Mordred is attacking other things because he's berserk. That what that uh, idea to get um, shock value was a uh, huge. Oh, Mordred is gonna swap me any second now. Do I die if I get swapped? This has been a rough run in terms of consumables. Like no shields. Not a single stone shield or arcane shield, and I could really use them. Um, eh, Mordor is Berserk again. Okay, I got swapped. And I cannot do anything about it, so... Yeah, this, this is, fight is brutal. Um, when taking into account the fact that, uh, that I don't have mobility, nor any way to protect myself from the ridiculousness that's been thrown at me. Uh, I have to use the teleporter here. Oh, there's also a timekeeper, which is gonna stun me next turn, so I guess that I've 
Uh, but if I stay here... Wow, this is incredibly rough. Uh, if I stay here, I probably die to the dragons. Um, if I move, I don't die to the... I, I probably still die to the dragons, <laughs> let's, let's be completely fair here. So the only option is to heal, but if I heal, I'm gonna take a ton of damage anyway. Yeah, I guess healing was, was the correct thing to do. Now we uh, go over here and we um, stop watch. Unfortunately, Mordred had clarity, so didn't get stopwatched. Okay, got rid of the timekeeper, that's a big deal. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. I'm gonna use a mana potion. And I'm gonna go for... Do I go for it? You're gonna do it next turn, so I'm gonna wait. And then I'm gonna do it. Yeah, to replenish my imps. We got a fake queen, unfortunately. Uh, it's... No, it's, it's multiple fake queens. Well... Uh, it's looking like we're approaching our limits with these builds. Nothing to do about it. Um, we always knew this was how it was going to end. Um, I don't have to heal. Yeah, I, mean, I can't wait for a couple of turns. Okay, got swapped. Um, there's a green Gorgon here, which could poison me. If I get poison, I probably die because I can't heal. I am going to try to grab that HP. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Being able to grab that uh, potion would be great. But it is, it's not possible. What is Mordred? Uh, somehow we have gotten rid of all of Mordred's lives already. The Imps are really strong. <laughs> yeah, look at that. 17 damage and they do the chastisement thing. Like The, the only ones that don't do it, that are the Iron Ones. But the Iron Ones are like more like walking walls and anything. Look at their incredible resistances. Okay. We oh, got swapped. Pretty rough situation to be in. Okay, we got rid of the Enchanter. Well, that got Berserk. That's a big deal. So, it turns out that this build and the Ench the uh, Shrine that I got for Ink Swarm make so much allies, so, so, so many allies, that... Um, that Mordred's thing is not enough to get rid of all of them. I think we're done. Yeah, oof! Okay, so I think that... Um, the only reason why we won was because we had so many imps. Yeah, uh, because of the shrine that we had on the imps that were pretty much doubling the amount of imps that I got. Um, uh, what else? What else? Oh yeah, like the skills upgrade. Uh, the the fact that I got chastisement, fighting judgment, and holy thunder. Th those three were were a big deal. I would like to believe. Uh, Prince of Ruin dealt so much damage, and yeah, Prince of Ruin also was applying uh, Chastisement, I think, because it was applying Fighty Judgment and Holy Thunder. Um, so yeah, great run. Oof, I didn't think that it was gonna be possible, but I even finished with two healing potions. Yeah, like, the power of Imps. Um, I had so many Imps that no matter in the level where Mordred was, as long as it was reasonably open, as long as the Imps could actually reach Mordred, they, there were Imps, uh, and Mordred was getting hit by them. That was pretty good.